I think sometimes the focus is always on the negative, but there is so much goodness that is happening. I've seen the growth of Dallas. Whatever you envision for yourself 10 to 20 years from now, Dallas will be the place to do all that. I love the grind and the hustle of people that live in Southern Dallas because they know that they're dedicated to their communities and to their small businesses and to creating a better place to live. Thanks, thanks everybody for being here. Southern Dallas is so big, and there's so many different angles that you can attack this uh, issue to have conversations about. What I'm sensing is that neighborhoods are starting to congeal a little bit better. Dallas Leadership Foundation is doing an amazing job with bringing organizations, Mill City Community, Association, you're seeing with Miss Eel and Dolphin Heights, all these small neighborhoods that people typically were not aware that existed, they're now at the table, they're having voice and they're talking about what's important to them. They're organizing and they're speaking out and making a difference. It's impressive to see it happen. Neighborhoods in Southern Dallas have changed because they're more engaged, they feel more informed, they see they have a role to take in their own development, their own improvement. extremely high. So I think everybody's starting to look a little bit more south and a little bit more east and west for those affordable homes. And there are plenty of opportunities. It's just a matter of the education. Not only in educating people that those homes are there, but the people who live there, helping them realize that they can afford the homes. Spend a moment on safety. I think the perception has always been there in Southern Dallas that, you know, it's unsafe. Well, something that I do, um, when I used to work in Irving, on Fridays we do something called take long lunches. So I would take, you know, some of my coworkers, you know, I'll take them to Southern Dallas. We'll go to some of the restaurants on the Southern side and so, hey, this is what it really looks like. I know what you see on the news, but this is not what really is happening there. It's very thriving, it's very open, it's very family friendly. It's a great part of town. Beautiful park, let's take back Tipton Park, let's take back Tipton Creek and make it beautiful. Oh, this is actually getting a beetle. Talking about dogs. I think there's work that's being done that you know is commendable around the issue and bringing it to light, um, but there's still challenges. This is a really exciting time, I think, educationally in, in Dallas and specifically in Southern Dallas. The main school district, DISD, is, is really championing some amazing uh, strategies to improve uh, student outcomes uh, across the district, but specifically focused on schools that uh, have had underinvestment and, and underachievement. Um, and then I think you look at things like uh, the Dallas County Promise, which is the new opportunity for graduating high school seniors to uh, do two years free at a Dallas County Community College District and then transfer on for two additional years at UNT Dallas. 
that's a huge opportunity and could be a huge workforce boost. UNT Dallas is there now, so uh, before there wasn't any community college options or dual credit options prior to that. You know, for me as a student, growing up at Oak Cliff, I had to travel from Oak Cliff all the way to Skyline. Then, you know, I did the dual credit program at El Centro, so I was a professional dart rider, <laughs> as I like to call it. <laughs> uh, but now, you know, these kids in, those, in these areas that have these opportunities, they're exposed to so much more. We're going to go to the Great Trinity Forest. In the middle of this forest was a landfill, and now the whole nation is watching the Byron Nelson. Fancy dancy golf course, how that, can that help uh, uh, Southern Dallas? I think that if we were to put out flyers and tell people that 250,000 people are coming, people like my dad, who is very entrepreneurial, would say, I'm gonna go sell water bottles. You know, that's money coming into the neighborhood. So why not? Why everybody can capitalize on it and have a good time. I think uh, exposure is very key. I think it gives a lot of people from Southern Dallas opportunity to uh, be open and see something new and different, as well as people from the uh, Northern sector as well. I think it's brilliant bringing a golf tournament like this to the Southern sector. What a great opportunity to showcase to the nation. Uh, Linda, you mentioned uh, Impact Dallas. You kind of explain how things are changing. We did raise over $37 million from um, a variety of different investors, but mostly private individuals. And uh, the intention was to provide some gap financing for real estate projects because of the disparity between underwriting and making loans in North Dallas versus South Dallas. What's happened is we haven't deployed the money as quickly as we'd like. The gap financing is being provided in, in some ways by the private market. And so while we feel like we'll be fully deployed within the next six to nine months, we're, uh, we're now starting to look at what does fund two look like. But there still is a need for capital. It takes a while, uh, particularly to interest investors and developers into certain areas, and that, and that process is, has a longer runway than anybody anticipated when we started Impact Dallas Capital. made it through several rounds of competition to have the opportunity to share their unique visions to grow south with us. It's been exciting the last seven years uh, to see the changes in the farmer's market and in the Cedars area. The shed uh, has brought you know more people to downtown, more people to, to the southern side. I love going to the movies, so the Alamo Draft House is a great spot. Hopefully one thing that uh, will, will happen in the future is we'll get a, an elementary school for, for downtown uh, Deep Ellum Farmer's Market and the Cedars. We have a new vibrancy, we're more racially diverse, we have new neighbors, and we have some really great new things coming in. 
lot of new culture. And the best thing about West Dallas now, with all of these great changes, is that we now have the best tacos in all of the city of Dallas. We need some more jobs in the area. And those are some of the things that we're looking to do. In the next seven years, you're gonna be seeing that West Dallas District 6 is the place that everybody's gonna to wanna to live, work and play. Well, when you look at the new development, look at what it once was with the uh, drug-ridden, crime-ridden motels, and you look at Urban Village and the new Rudy's Chicken, you look at the new Crest Shopping Center, I can go on and on. It is evolving around and changing. But what I'd like to see on Lancaster in the very future, I'd love to see restaurants that we could go in, sit down, and have a salad, shrimp cocktails, under candlelight with tablecloths, and other economic development opportunities and retail plus housing. Ooh, last seven years, so we did not have a four-year university. Now we got a four-year university. Now we got a resident hall. We're building a third building there. Those are big things right there. You know, you got a gateway coming in there at uh, 20 and uh, University Hill. Uh, imagine a great hotel there, you know, your office building, the upper middle class housing, that's another thing. A restaurant, you know, a new town center. Yeah, it's really transformational, actually. Uh, there are a lot of changes that are happening, and a lot of people are making it more of the central spot for the heart of the Oak Cliff. I think what's really important is that the new businesses come that are thriving, but you know that we're able to bring people to Oak Cliff and Jefferson specifically that maybe haven't been in the area in decades or maybe have never been. All right, Southern Dallas, uh, 10 years from now. Um, what do you see? What are, the, what are the possibilities out there? There won't be any empty lots. <laughs> Um, I see two things. One is I think education is going to significantly improve in Southern Dallas because you have schools like Tag Magnet, number one school in the nation. He has proven that the diversity of students makes everyone better. So I think that's huge. And number two is there's huge opportunity for young professional engagement. In any capacity, in any way that you are looking to get engaged in your city, you can do it there. You know, when I moved back, I was in my early 20s, and I, I've seen the growth of Dallas. It's, it's a true melting pot. You know, whatever you want, you know, envision for yourself 10 to 20 years from now, Dallas will be the place for you to do all that. <laughs>